In this video, we can show you how to in this video, we can show you how to start adding parts to various activities in your video time study. So here we have our data collection screen where we performed the data collection that you've already seen in various other videos here. And now we want to go to the bill of material option here, the bomb. So we click on this here. Now a number of options here will change to the ribbon. Now the key thing is that the system has detected that you've moved from a data collection mode into a bill of material mode. So now things will start behaving a little bit differently here. So let's say we want to uh, attach a material to it. So if you have a bill of material, you can select it here. Uh, we'll more about that in a separate video here. We're going to do a new bomb here. So I'm just going to click on the new bomb here. I'm going to put it into my machine shop. And I'm going to say this was my um, cast part one. This is going to be the name of the bill of material we're going to create. And we click on the save. Nothing obvious has happened here until we go to one of the descriptions here. And we double click on it. And it brings up the bill of material screen here. This is exactly the same bill of material you've, you will have seen if you've been looking at the balancing area here. Now here there is no materials listed. We're going to manually input them here. And normally I would encourage you to import from a file if you have an ERP type system. And uh, that it will be covered again in a separate video in this section as well here. So all we're going to do now is we're going to add one here. So we click on the add and we're going to give the part description. So this is going to be a cast part. And we'll give it a part number. So let's call it uh, CST-100. Right, the quantity, let's say in this particular batch, there was going to be a quantity of uh, 18, let's say. And the unit of measure was going to be each. And the unit cost of each was going to be, let's say, 58 cents, so 0 0.58. Okay, then we save it. And you can see that's now been added right here. And maybe we also need some um, clear up material as well here. So I can add a second one and just call this uh, a brush. All right. And there's going to be a part number, special brush for this machine, let's say BR-123. And the quantity is going to be one. And unit measures each. And the unit cost of that is going to be $1.58. Right, so we do that kind of thing. Now you can see we get two items here. So we can continue manually adding the uh, parts that are going to be used. Of course, I try and encourage you to import it if you have the data available elsewhere. Now, how do you use this now? So you close out of this. All you do from the bill of material selection here, you go to the item you want it associated with. So I'm going to double click on the row number four buff side. And I'm going to click on the, the uh, cast part here. I'm going to say 1, which will change the quantity down here to 1. And then I just click on the OK. And you can see it's listed here. Now, if I close out of this, you will notice nothing is obvious until I go to the where used all parts. And here you can see, even though I only put it on 1, it's associating the same material with every occurrence here. Now, in many of your uh, video time studies, you may not have a repetitive operation. Uh, but if you have a repetitive operation like you have here, you can see just by making that one entry in this one line, it's actually associated with every occurrence of that activity. So I can come back in here and I can just double click on this and you'll see it's already showing one being associated with this here. In fact, if you go to the users analysis, it will show you for each occurrence of the buff sides, it's associated with one particular item here and there's nine occurrences here. So there's one being used in each occurrence of the process in this repetitive operation. If you got a non-repetitive operation, of course, it would just be associated with the particular activity uh, that consumed the parts here. Uh, so you can do this for anyone. You can double click on here. Now, if you happen to click on something and you select the quantity, so you get 18 available here. And uh, I can come in here and I can say, okay, I, I want to use 20. And I try to use it. It's not going to uh, let me do that. It's going to be greater than the number available for me right here. So we get various controls to uh, make sure you don't consume more quantity of parts than you actually have available. This is how you create a new bill of material manually. Again, not recommended if you have options. Uh, I would rather recommend that you uh, bring the data in, uh, as you'll see in the next videos here.